Marina from RC Compounding Services. Today I'm going to go over how to give yourself a hydroxyprogesterone injection. Some things we're going to cover today are general progesterone information, how to prepare an injection, how to give the injection, and how to dispose of the needles. Progesterone is a female sex hormone that's required for the reproductive system to function. It can be prescribed for a couple different reasons, including infertility, postmenopausal symptoms, postnatal depression, and premenstrual syndrome. If your doctor prescribed this medication for you, make sure you take it exactly as he directed, or she. Don't take more or less than was prescribed, and definitely don't share it with anyone else. It was prescribed especially for you. Also, try and take it at the same time each day. Progesterone can cause some unwanted side effects. Fortunately, most of these subside with time and, and improve. Once you've cleaned off your surface and washed your hands, you can begin drying up the medication. First, you need to pop the top off your, in off your injection vial with your thumb, like so. Next, you want to take an alcohol pad and wipe off the top of your vial. Make sure not to touch the vial after you've cleaned it. Allow the vial to dry for at least 10 seconds. Uncap your needle and prepare to inject it into the vial. Insert the needle at a 45 degree angle into the rubber top. Invert the vial and make sure that the tip of your needle remains within, within the liquid inside the vial. Hydroxyprogesterone is a thick liquid so it will take time to draw. Pull back your needle and hold to about the two mark. You'll see that the liquid slowly drip into the vial. Continue to hold the syringe pull, pulled back until you get it about halfway filled. As you see, it takes time. Release the plunger and let it go back to the top. It'll pull back on its own because of the pressure in the vial. Flick the needle to get the air bubbles to the top, and then push up to force the bubbles back into the vial. If you didn't get enough drug in the vial, I'm pulling it up to the 1 ml mark, you'll have to pull back in the plunger again. Again, make sure that your, the tip of your needle is underneath the top of the liquid. If there are some small air bubbles, that's okay. Just make sure there's no large ones. Turn the vial over and pull out your needle. Once you have your needle prepared, you want to make sure you clean off the area of skin that you're going to inject into, in this case, the tissue on the hip. Clean it off with an alcohol swab and then allow it to dry for at least 10 seconds and allow nothing else to touch it in the meantime. Once you're ready, take your needle and hold it almost like you would a dart. You don't want to throw it as you would a dart, but you want to jab it in a quick, swift motion, getting it into the muscle. Once you have the needle into the muscle, you want to press down on the plunger to inject the medication into, your, into the muscle. Make sure you hold the plunger there for two to five seconds to make sure all the drug is inside, and then quickly remove the, the, the needle from your skin. Show you an example using the vial as the injection place. After cleaning up the skin and allowing it to dry for 10 seconds, you'll take your needle and hold it again in a dart like fashion and then quickly and swiftly put it into the skin. Following, once it's in the skin, to press the plunger all the way, which will take some pressure, and then hold the plunger for a few seconds, then pull the needle out quickly. If you've been provided with a sharps container, you want to make sure you throw the needle into the sharps container. That way, you make sure that, that anyone disposing of your garbage doesn't end up accidentally stuck with the needle. If you don't have a sharps container, you can make a quick substitute by using any empty pop bottle or milk container and just screwing the cap on tightly. If you have any other questions regarding this procedure, you can contact RC Compounding Services 
or give your physician a call. Also, you can refer to the leaflets that we provided with your prescription, including one that goes over progesterone uh, in more detail or one that goes over the injection process. Thank you.